and he was like he was stuck too and i'm like oh right you know that's that's crazy i'm gonna abbreviate some of this because it's way too long so you know they end up leaving they found a ride they're like deuces they you know they're just like leaving me and stuff and um I, like i don't blame them because it's cold i don't blame them. that's what you're supposed to do um and that happened and then um so let's just say um, no one's calling each other back <laughs> the the gas station and i'm there for like six to eight hours i went and, i went and bought everything at the store i bought matches candles play-doh to put the candles in light the light it inside the car um i almost bought the clerk she was cute you know um and then so i'm stuck there and i'm like i'm not thinking of anyone i'm like who's gonna come and help me so i i went and Google talked to everyone. The tow trucks weren't doing it. They wanted 600 just to stay. The hotels wanted 200 a night. There's only one available. It was half a block away. <coughs> now half a block away doesn't sound too far. Or you could walk in distance, but in a blizzard, that's like you're not. You know, I mean, cool. You go through there, but then your car gets in a blizzard. You're going to die. Just thinking about it makes me want, want to go into the covers. Not cool. Money, I don't have money, I'm broke, I'm like, man. You know? <clears throat> so, I ended up staying until like 11. I look at the, uh, the weather. I'm trying to do this fast for some reason, but um, I'm there for, I'm up there, for, what? Um, I'm there for like eight hours and the guy's like, hey, you're going to have to leave because my boss sees you. just going to get your car towed. I'm like, I was just talking to your boss. I was, I ended up talking to his boss for like three, four different occasions. I gave him an idea. He told me thanks. Like I'm over here making this dude money with one of my ideas. It's crazy. Everything I touch turns to gold. I'm up, like, hey, you're not going to tell me, right? Like I gave you, you know, just hooked me up and let me stay here. But then by the morning, I'm going to be six feet under in the snow. So the gas comes back up or it comes back in because I was out of gas on top of that. We got to mention that. So I'm out of gas. My engine's over, oh, 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 overheating. My heater's not working. And it's, it's fucking a blizzard outside. You know, the, the big three. Um, and so that happens. And then um, what else? So as I leave, the uh, person that was stuck ends up leaving. He didn't say like, hey, let me help you out, which is ironic because before I thought I, before I even knew I was going to be stuck, I, you know, I asked him if he needed some help. But I, don't, I think when you offer your help, you shouldn't expect them to help you back out. It should just, you know, you're doing it because you want to type of thing or whatever. He just left. He's like, man, I've been here too long. He bounced. I don't blame him. You know, dude did what he had to do. It was snowing. It happens. Um, I'm low-key thinking to myself, like, mm, yeah, maybe all of them. That's some bull. Get some candles and put it next to the windshield to heat up a little bit. And I have one hole and two holes and then it cracks. And the guy's like, you got to leave because we're going to call. You know, boss is going to call the tow truck or whatever. And... And all that. So it was right around around 12. I got the courage. I'm like, I could just drive down. They have plowed. They were, the plower people were, man, they're on top. They were plowing nonstop. So I have to give them props for that too. Working hard. Pause. It's, it's dangerous. I didn't know it was dangerous. You know, you just see the road. It's like whatever. And the last minute, instead of me, so I'm just take off the gas station. I have one hole, two holes in the windshield. In a crack in the middle and i'm just like i'm just like driving and I'm put the windows down and i'm like you know like that's gonna help i'm supposed to see what's in front of me and um it's, it's last minute instead of me turning right and going to the apartments uh, the hotel i decided i'm just gonna go i'm gonna gun it and go down go down the mountain so i i go down the mountain i remember the guy telling me not to go too fast because you're gonna you're gonna slide so as one of the dips i'm going past the dips where i got the dip the the puddle originally that wasn't there thank god so i passed through there but on the other side there was like this little corner 
hit the corner i was going like 30 miles i think that's pretty that's pretty high plus ice i sp I spend a little bit. I'm good with the wheels, so I spin back and then spin. You know, I spin twice or whatever. Got it corrected. Came down. Started coming down. Super excited. My engine overheating and shit. Um, all that. I'm just like, how can you be overheating? Um, you know. And then, um, so that was my that that second time when I told you I almost spin. There was nothing on the bottom except for like whatever feet. I'm gonna say 200 feet. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm in the middle of like a mountain. It's, there's nothing but mountain going down and I'm spent out of it. No, so not only did I almost freeze, um, but like uh, I almost spun out and came down. And the ironic part is before I hit, came down, I had to hit up a friend for an idea. He's like, oh, I could, but I'm kind of a little busy and you know all that. And I'm just like, it's crazy. I wasn't asking for your help, bro. Like I was asking for like, an idea and and maybe he was he is busy or he was busy and all that and um, you know it is it is what it is it happens things happen uh thankfully uh, i was able to make it down and dude honestly just be careful in the snow like respect the weather i never had an encounter um i never had an encounter the weather before so that's why I think I didn't take it too seriously. And then I, it almost ended up costing me big time. Um, so that kind of just stopped me for a lot of things uh, before the new year. I had to reconsider, is my shit dead? Is, is this really dead? Whatever. So <clears throat> I think this shit's fucking dead. I'm gonna be pissed. Um, and then, um, you know, it just kind of slowed me down for the week. Uh, then, then Christmas came along, New Year's and all that come to now. And it kind of just I really thought my stuff was going to be recorded. I was, was going to lose my shit. In a, in a situation that I hadn't faced before. And like, honestly, I was just like, like, this is crazy. I made it out. But like, I could have seriously not made it out. So um, this, that's my little story time. It's kind of, you know, this video is kind of long. So my bad. Please subscribe, share, like, if you want to comment, all that. Um, I just wanted to kind of share that before anything. Because, I don't know. I guess I, was, I told you guys I was going to share this. 